Today is the summer solstice, the official start of summer for those of us in the northern hemisphere, and it's also the longest day of the year. With this, that big blazing ball in the sky, our sun is getting ready for its own kind of increased activity here soon. Joining us to talk about all things, the interesting events going on in the sky is NASA expert Michael Kirk. Michael, how are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing really well. It's a it's a great day to be a heliophysicist, and I'm excited <laughs> to talk with all of you about the sun. And there's some big events coming up with the sun as well. Let's start here, though. NASA's got some big plans to celebrate the sun in the coming year. What makes this such an exciting time to talk about the sun? Yeah, in fact, it's such a, a big time to talk about the sun. We're calling it the heliophysics big year because it truly is a spectacular year coming up for us. So kicking things off this October, October 14th, we're going to have an annular solar eclipse that will sweep down from Oregon through the desert southwest, out through Texas, the Caribbean, and in South America. An annular solar eclipse is where the sun is blocked by the moon, but not entirely. There's a ring of fire that peaks around the outside of that shadow. It's going to be spectacular. Okay, then the main event, like you were saying before, is the total solar eclipse. It's coming back. If you saw it in 2017, you know, put it on your calendar, set your, uh, your set your watch. We are really excited for the total solar eclipse that will be happening in April 8th of next year, April 8th, 2024. That's going to come up through Mexico, Texas, uh, Mississippi River Valley, Ohio River Valley, and then Great Lakes and out through Canada. It's going to be amazing. And then to round it all out, if that's not enough, we have a total, uh, we have the um, a Parker Solar Probe that's going to get closest to the sun than humanity's ever been before in December of 2024. I've been looking at some of the maps for the solar eclipse coming up next year, Michael. I think it comes close to like Indianapolis or north central Indiana for us here. But you mentioned that the sun's getting a little more active. How is that going to impact us? Yeah, so the sun, solar activity is also increasing throughout this entire time. So the sun goes through a 12 year cycle from quiet to active with more solar flares, more sunspots, uh, more active regions and more space weather. That's what happens when the sun expels stuff from its surface, uh, plasma from its surface, and it comes rushing through space and hits the Earth's upper atmosphere. Thank goodness we have a magnetic field, we have an atmosphere, so it doesn't hit us on the ground and affect us much on the ground at all. However, anything in space is affected. That means that if you happen to be using your GPS during one of these big solar storms that are gonna be coming more frequent in the next year, it could disrupt things. So you could be thinking that you're you're sitting here on First Street and you're actually you know four blocks to the east. So that sort of uh, disruption is annoying for our everyday life, but it is critical for anything that is dependent on space uh, space signals, including communicating with astronauts and any sort of future NASA mission to the moon or onto Mars. And Michael, we've been talking about the eclipse little by little here. We know what we do. We try to see it when it happens. But what do scientists down at NASA do during a solar eclipse? Yeah, so the solar eclipse is a special time for scientists as well, because what we can do is take advantage of a natural experiment where we can just flip off the sun for just a couple of minutes. When we do that, when the sun turns off for a couple of minutes, we can see how the atmosphere changes and reacts. And then when the sun comes back on again, we can see again those changes, which allows us to understand how the sun and Earth behave in this unified system together. So NASA is launching sounding rockets and high altitude balloons and airplanes all to study these phenomenon in the upper Earth's atmosphere and then to take more detailed pictures of the solar atmosphere itself um, better than we ever have before. Michael Kirk from NASA's Goddard Space Center joining us this morning to talk about all things sun related we can look forward to, including the upcoming solar eclipses. Michael, thanks so much for joining us today for the summer solstice. We really appreciate it.